welcome to the first week's sharing of game changes for business owners let me remind you the purpose of this series is to generate continuous growth in profits for the members who follow the series now let us take any business you think about your business any business has got only two aspects that's it okay what are the two aspects one you can you welcome and get the business and two you deliver on the promises that you have made to your customers so now when i am i right in saying this for you you want to have only ideal customers for your business two you want to attract them instead of chasing them and you know be going behind them you want to increase the number of the new ideal customers that you have and that you can get at will you want to increase it or decrease it according to your choice would you like to have that so now let us look into and say what does ideal customers mean ideal customers are those customers who respect the work that you do they respect the quality that you provide they are willing and are ready to pay well for you and in time they give you enough time to give the service of the product and they treat you very well let's remember it is not a one way street you also need to do you also need to be a certain kind of a person for your ideal customer so those ideal customers must demand high quality from you so you are always giving very good quality and at the least possible price and giving it at the speed which they cannot get anywhere else that is in other words you are giving a very fastest of the service the most important point is that they expect from you and demand from you open and honest communication now that's what an ideal uh, customer means from our definition now fine now what is the meaning of attracting the ideal customers in order for you to attract the ideal uh, customer there are three things that you must need to uh, develop but before that let's talk about this are you in a position to say no to those people who are not your ideal customer are you able to get enough number of them regularly and are you able to increase their numbers at will and the new customers for you so that's what we are looking at attracting the customers in order for you to attract the ideal customers at will you need three things uh, let me talk about those things number one is that you need to have the right mindset second you need to be willing to learn and gain the knowledge that is needed to attract them number three you are also have to develop certain skills so the, let's go back and look at the very first part of it now i'm asking you a very sincere question give a honest answer do you believe you can say no when someone is asking you to serve them do you think that you can do that only if you are getting enough number of people second question is do you believe that you can increase or decrease the number of people ideal customers at will so if you are having enough customers then you're going to stop getting attracting them if you do not have enough customers you're going to attract more do you believe you can do that i want you to remind you about what henry ford has said whether you think you can or you can't either way you are right what is important here is here you are going to believe that you can do that you have to think belief is nothing but a thought that is repeated and for you it is true so now the whole purpose of the first half of the series is going to be that i am going to provide you with the necessary knowledge and skills knowledge and skills is completely useless if you do not have the desire or if you do not believe that you can achieve your desire in fact dr wayne dyer has written a complete book on this which he has titled it as you will see it when you believe it so the first thing that needs to happen is you must believe in yourself and in your ability to attract and you must be willing to put in the necessary work subsequent to that so the number one is your belief now let's look at the knowledge there are four aspects of the knowledge that you need to get you must first understand what is normally known as the physical demographics of your ideal customer so this would cover a lot of these things which is given to you in a worksheet when you fill it you will get into that the second aspect of that is you must also understand the psychological makeup of your ideal customer third that you need to know is you must know where to find them in other words you need to know where are they spending their leisure time both online and physically now another very important thing that you must have the knowledge of is 
what is it that is keeping them awake at night that is in other words what are their problems or what are their needs what are they striving to achieve for themselves i could also be that what are they dreaming of in achieving so to get all of this what we are suggesting is we are given you a worksheet please fill in the worksheet and that should give you all the knowledge that you need about it now if you share your field worksheet with us we will also guide you further and refine so that you know exactly who your ideal customers are that brings us to the skill the skill that you need to develop is who are your ideal customers is the one part and identifying what are their problems needs and desires as the second part this is one set that we are looking at about your ideal customer the second thing that you need to look at is that how are you going to solve the problems that they are facing or how are you going to show them the path so that they can achieve the dreams that they want once you have the solution with you in hand then you must also be able to give them an offer which they cannot refuse so that is the second set of skill that you need to be developing it then once you say uh, with those things then you need to create your marketing message so that marketing message should be able to grab their attention and hold it with with your message so that they will be able to say yes that's what i want and this is the right person who can give me that service that is a skill set that you need to develop once this message is developed then there is an whole gamut of uh, things that you need to become aware of where are you going to display your message when are you going to display the message what is the media the platform that you are going to use is it going to be online is it going to be offline in online what are you going to do in offline what are you going to do all of that should become clear for you that you will be able to do if you have a very clear picture of who your ideal customer is then a most important part that comes up it is how much money how much money do you need to allocate in order to prepare your message how much of money you need to allocate in order to reach it to the people at the right time in the right place once you have sent out your message you must also know is it really effective can you improve the effectiveness of that these are the skills that you must develop in the series that follows we will be equipping you with all the knowledge that you need and all of these skills one by one we will uh, explore so right now what is it that you need to do i want to know what are your thoughts on the purpose of the series which is continuously grow your business second i want to know what are the points that you are able to pick from this and immediately use in your business and in your life if you have suggestions so that we can present this information better for you please do share with us so that we can then improve upon this whole part of it then very important connected to this particular weeks sharing is that what are your current beliefs on your ability to attract your ideal customers right so for that fill the worksheet share the worksheet with us so that we will be able to guide you uh, with that if you have added any further points which are not there part of the worksheet please share that with us because that's going to help a lot of other people as well in uh, in refining their search for and identifying their ideal customers the next thing that we are asking you to consider very seriously if you do gain all the knowledge that we have mentioned earlier and all the skills that if you develop will you be able to attract your ideal customer at will and get them in the numbers that you want whenever you want is it a yes or a no let us know finally the request from our side is if you find this information useful for you can you think of just one other person who might benefit from this information please share that person's email id with us and we will strive to reach it to them so that your friend can also benefit from the same message and they can grow their business now that's all for this week thank you very much for being part of this and look forward to seeing you the next week thank you very much